Welcome to Electron Line, and now let's take a closer look at the moon shadow. So here's the sun, very large. Here we have the moon, not too far from the earth. And so the rays of the sun are now being blocked by the moon, and the shadow of the moon is right behind the moon here. And this shadow portion right here is called the umbra. That's the dark region behind the moon where no sunlight can reach. So this is almost like being at night. If you're right there, you can look up in the sky and see all the stars in the night and there's no light from the sun hitting you. So this region of the Earth right here is experiencing a total solar eclipse. But sometimes the Earth is farther away from the Moon. Uh, not that the Earth moves, but that the Moon's orbit, of course, is elliptical, and sometimes it's farther away when it's at, uh, at the apogee. And so therefore, the, the Moon shadow actually comes to a stop right here, and then at that point right there, there's actual sunlight to be seen. And because of that, part of the sun will be blocked, but a small ring of the sun will actually be visible, and we then have what we call an annular eclipse. This region right here is called the anti-umbra. You can actually see the sun, or at least a portion of the sun there, so it's actually not completely dark. It is partially dark, but not completely dark. Then we have the region right here on either side of the moon, uh, or the moon shadow, I should say, that's called the penumbra. So this is called the umbra, and this is called the penumbra, because even though most of the light of the sun is blocked there, some of the light from over here can actually reach that region, so there's kind of like partial di darkness, not complete darkness. So the, the light is diminished to a fair amount there, and so in these regions right here, in those regions right there, we would see a partial eclipse, a partial solar eclipse, not a total solar eclipse. So this is where you see the total solar eclipse, that's where you see the partial solar eclipse, and you do experience a cooling effect when you ever go through one of these events, and there's only a partial solar eclipse. As the size of the disk of the moon that's visible becomes smaller and smaller and smaller, it kind of gets uh, darker, um, it gets cooler, you don't get as much sunshine, as much radiation from the sun, and you do have the effect as if you reach like the twilight, and therefore you kind of experience partial blocking of the sunlight and therefore you're in the region of the shadow called the penumbra, a partial blocking of the sun. And that's really what that means. The anti-umbra is simply where part of the disk is covered, the inside portion, but the outside portion is still visible and it's called an annual eclipse at that point. And so now you know a little bit more about the shadow and why you have the different kinds of solar eclipses.